Hi. So if you've seen any of my previous videos on gel electrolytes, you'd have seen me testing this stuff, glucomannum, in a battery setup to see how it performs. So the testing's carrying on with that, making some progress, and I'll do some more videos on that when I'm ready. In the meantime, I thought I'd just do some comparisons to some other gels that I thought might be comparable and see how they stack up against the glucomannum. So in this test we've got in the middle uh, we've got wallpaper paste which is carboxymethylcellulose. The glucomannum is described as being hemicellulose so in terms of cellulose it's a slightly different type. And here we've got a potassium polyacrylate which they sell as a water retention crystals that you use in gardening. This stuff is slightly different to what you would get in other types of hydrogels I've seen on YouTube where people are using sodium polyacrylate which is the stuff that you'll find in babies' nappies. So we've got a mixture here of 50 mils of deionized water in each of these and there's one gram of each of these inside that I've mixed up. So these are in the process of forming a gel the uh, potassium polyacrylate seems to form a gel pretty quick, so you can see it's already done that. This has only been a few minutes. Uh, the wallpaper paste, again, is forming quite nicely. Uh, the glucomannum, on the other hand, does take a bit of a while to get going. So, I mean, this can actually take a couple of hours, whereas these two will be forming a lot quicker. So, yeah, th the plan is to get uh, the same amount of these into a shot glass as before. I'll probably use uh, aluminium and copper as the electrodes and probably just take a standard table salt as the electrolyte and I'll, I'll aim for, for one mole. And then what we'll do is uh, get them charged up uh, with a standard voltage over a fixed time and then do a discharge probably at 10 milliamps and see how, see how they perform over maybe three cycles. So yeah, I'll get that set up and be back. So I finished running the tests of the three cells. So we have the glucomonum here, the wallpaper paste carboxymethylcellulose here in the middle, and the potassium polyacrylate on the right. So in each of these we have 15 grams of the mixtures with about 0 0.9 grams of sea salt or sodium chloride. Um, so the tests I ran were uh, basically charge tests at uh, 1.8 volts for 10 minutes and then a discharge on the data logger at 10 milliamps to see how long they would take until they got to 0 0.3 volts when the test finished. So I ran each of these um, cycles about five times just to see how they performed. Now in terms of storage they were pretty comparable so on the 10 milliamp discharge um, with a 10 minute charge I was getting roughly about 10 minutes on the uh, discharge before it cut off about 0.3. I would have to say though that uh, if I had to pick a winner the glucomannum probably held up the best. It seemed to hold a higher voltage for, for longer um, and also probably performed slightly better. Also what's interesting is is when the gel forms and you're adding the salt the gel kind of keeps its structure better than the other ones. For example if we look at the carboxymethylcellulose you can see it's actually gone quite runny and similar with the uh, potassium polyacrylate um, it kind of starts to break down as soon as you add the salt to the crystals so yeah I, I think if anything this this proves that uh, I'll continue with this one and uh, may come back to these at another date but yeah uh, hopefully I'll post some more videos soon on the glucomon and with some of the improvements that I've been making to the formula to get better results from it.
Anyway, thanks for watching.